What's up my biker friends, I'm back with another video and today it's just gonna be a small cruise north of Berlin. I just picked up my brother, he started as Harley Davidson for the first time in 2020 and we're just gonna cruise around for the day and I'm gonna talk you through my journey from riding a Harley Davidson to the KTM 1290 Super Adventure S, so stay tuned. is so loud I can't even hear my own bike anymore it makes the <laughs> makes the KTM sound like an electric motorcycle crazy <laughs> it's five o'clock now so we're not gonna be out here for very long just gonna cruise around a little bit enjoy the nice weather because we are actually allowed to ride our bikes in Brandenburg um, which is really nice we weren't allowed to do that just a week ago so we're gonna take advantage of the nice weather is Easter Sunday and yeah we're just gonna cruise out no specific goal in mind or no tour planned you guys that don't know I actually started riding a Harley Davidson when I picked up riding motorcycles again I got my license when I was 19 and then had a couple of bikes but really wasn't very serious about riding bikes yeah and then life happened and for a long time I kind of forgot about that I had a motorcycle license I didn't really ride until my brother in 2011 bought this Harley Davidson fat boy he bought it from a friend that lives in Los Angeles. He upgraded to a new chopper and was gonna sell his Harley Davidson. And I said, well, I'll buy it. And uh, he did, shipped it over to Berlin and it ended up in his garage sometime in the late fall of 2011. It was really, really cool to see that bike. Uh, most of us that know the Terminator movies have this bike in very good memory. So it's really kind of cool to see this kind of a bike. And of course, with me not having been on a motorcycle, same with him, for such a long time. We took a little test cruise, still the California license plates on it, up and down his road, and it was really cool. Anyway, he had it registered in the beginning of 2012, and I ended up... <laughs> I ended up uh, borrowing the bike so many times that I said, well, maybe I should get my own. And I really didn't know what kind of riding was going to do and if I would really like it. But the whole point was have another Harley, and take the occasional trip with my brother because we don't see each other often enough and that was sort of uh, the start of me buying a Harley so it was not until the late summer of 2012 that I bought my own motorcycle I'm sure I'm gonna have a photo up here somewhere where you see that bike nice blue Harley Davidson it was a 2005 Softail Deluxe um, really cool bike beach bar uh, handlebars on it really cool Nice looking bike. Uh, it's the best thing to take the bike out for your first ride in the beginning of a new season. So anyway, I got the Harley Davidson. I uh, had it for two years, the blue one. Uh, did a few tours with it. And then I switched uh, two years later in 2014 to a black soft head deluxe. It was a bit newer model. I just wanted something different. I still stuck with the Harley. Still wanted to keep the Harley and had it modified. Uh, with a really expensive exhaust system and then I did my first guided tour to the giant mountains in the Czech Republic and that was sort of the first trip that got me hooked on touring with the motorcycle I really enjoyed doing that of course I rolled in with a Harley Davidson when everyone else had touring bikes 
so the bike seemed a bit out of place. Uh, I still kept up with the group, uh, I had no problem with it. But then it was a nice guy that actually let me ride his Multistrada, his Ducati Multistrada. It was the first time that I ever sat on an adventure bike. We swapped bikes for about 70 kilometers. I got to ride this Ducati and man, I had uh, a great time on that bike. Of course, riding from a very low Harley Davidson, you know, I had the uh, suspension lowered to this really tall, powerful Italian adventure bike. That was definitely an eye opener. All of a sudden, these bad roads in the Czech Republic felt really comfortable riding on that motorcycle. It was really, really cool. And that got me started to think, you know, maybe I always saw these uh, videos from people riding in the Alps and uh, that's always something I wanted to do. Now, of course, the Harley Davidson, you can ride the Alps with the Harley Davidson. Many people do, but that was the first time I thought maybe this isn't the right bike for you for the kind of riding that you would like to do. Then I decided to trade it in for a bike that was more touring capable. And I wasn't quite sure what to get at the time. Coming off of this bike and then trying to look around to look for an adventure bike. So of course I looked at the Ducati Multistrada, it was one of the first ones I rode. I also tried the Ducati Diablo because I kind of like the sort of badass and show-off qualities of that bike, but of course that's not really a good touring bike. But I had it for a day, I rode it just to kind of see if that's for me. And then I tried the BMW, which is late October. Um, that was about the last week that they would still let people have these bikes. And I rented the bike for a day because I think you should ride a bike for a day to get an idea if that's really for you. And you're riding it just for an hour is not going to really tell you if this is the right bike for you. Especially for me coming off a bike like this, I needed a bit more time to see if this is really for me. And then I had the direct comparison between the Ducati Multistrada and the uh, 1200 GS at the time, which just kind of warmed up to the design of the of the BMW, which I still I, I like now. Um, didn't so much at the time. So I got my BMW. I got the BMW R 1200 GS DLC. It's triple black. It was only available for a year. Really liked the design. That was it's still to this day my favorite 1200 GS. Blackout design. <laughs> you just can't hear anything. Nothing is like oh, no, no. So I like the triple black 1200 GS. I like the all blackout design. I like the spoke wheels, which really look good on the GS. I think the spoke wheels look good on any adventure bikes. It just kind of fits the overall look of that sort of type of motorcycle. So I got a slightly used one. It had only 2,500 kilometers on it, something, or even less than that, just over 2,000 kilometers. So by the end of uh, 2015, I had a BMW GS. And then I did my first trip to the Alps. Uh, so that was a, another big guided tour, and the first time that I got to ride proper mountains, proper mountain passes. And from that day on the lace, I got hooked on riding touring and also riding long distance because all of a sudden I had a motorcycle that would allow me to ride 600, 700, 800, 1000 kilometers in a day and still come home and still be happy to ride the next day. Um, I couldn't do that with my Harley. The longest I could ride with a Harley was about 400 kilometers and my back would hurt. <laughs> Everything would just hurt like shit. So that for me, uh, increased um, the radius that I could travel. I could do day trips now to go to the Harz regions uh, or to the Ore Mountains, which I couldn't do on the Harley. Uh, usually I just have a day to ride and in that day now all of a sudden I could ride the Harz and the Ore Mountains, which is really cool. I couldn't do that on the Harley. So that was awesome. So I had the BMW for two years, exactly as long as I've had this uh, KTM now. Years, 35,000 kilometers up with the BMW. Yeah, and then KTM came up with this bike, and I just, uh, yeah, had my eyes set on the KTM. I didn't like it so much when it was still the, the white version, uh, so the first 1290 Super Adventure. It was just too big and too bulky for me, and somehow just that design didn't, didn't really work. I uh, really liked the design when this one came out. And then when the BMW was just over two years old, I sold it and I traded it in for this KTM now, which I've had, as you may know, I've had this bike for two years. And what has it is 36,000 kilometers on it. And I think I'm gonna keep this for a while. I'm, I'm very happy still with this motorcycle. So yeah, that is my journey coming from 
Harley Davidsons and just getting sort of into motorcycle riding initially because I can't really say I was riding before that. And this is year number eight. This is my eighth season now. So I've had I have seven seasons now with motorcycle riding. Anyway, guys, so that's the story. I'll take you along for the ride, show you a few pictures. Not sure where we're gonna go today. Um, we'll see. I find out how this works. Alright. like this thank you guys for watching if you like what you saw give me a thumbs up leave comments in the comment section if you're not a subscriber please subscribe to the channel i see you in the next video guys right safe